Alright, so here's another kind of comparison. Hi. That you can make. Um. Wow. And I'm gonna say this for the music. Because I don't feel like the music in this game really reflects. Um. The music in the film or the music in the N64 thing. I was trying to fucking capture. Ratchet and Clank. The reboot versus the original. You can take the music as a prime example for comparison. Yo, they just blew themselves up too? Is that it? Are they dead? I think they blew themselves up. Alright, let me get another generic gun out here. The Aurora. I'm okay with that name. It's just a shame the gun's so fucking generic looking that I'm never going to be able to tell it apart from the other guns. When I have to pay attention to the name. That's how I recognize Tostada after all. What if the gun actually did shoot Tostadas? So that'd be pretty cool. It'd end world hunger. Or, it would prolong world hunger by wasting food. Okay, back to Tostada conversation. What if it just wasted food because you're shooting Tostadas and they land on the floor? Or they bounce off the walls? Or they kill people? See, now that's the kind of thing right there that makes this pointer not so useful because it... I'm in position above you. You go first. I'll cover you. Are you going to be a friend, friend? Careful, James. Guard straight ahead. That's alright, I got it. Oh shit, there's another one too. Hold on a sec. There you go. Ow. Okay, but where's the pain coming from? Oh, you? Is there a guy? I hate when there's guys in the high up places because I can never s fucking see the stupid guys. Like, that's a pet peeve of mine. I'm sorry, did you just say undetected? Because I don't think we did undetected very well. Alright, now I remember this sucking, because I couldn't ever solve the puzzle. No. It's supposed to be somewhere you gotta climb up to get over the fence, but it's very arbitrary and you wouldn't think of it. I remember hating this. Okay, there's just a door open. Let me take a look. Yeah, because it's a lot darker. I have my TV turned up brighter because for whatever reason I couldn't see a damn thing and I always remember needing to turn up the brightness for this area because it's stupid fucking dark. And I'm not going to adjust the brightness in the videos because I'm not about to make the quality even worse. So why does it tell me to go that way if I can go this way then? What's in here? Or is this just another way to get to the same destination? Or maybe it just takes me backwards. Who knows? <laughs> you heard that, didn't you? Shit. Every time these guys just show up. That's more the reason why I'm not particularly crazy about it, but I know it's technically my fault for just being bad at the game. But yeah, no, having them show up every two seconds gets kind of irritable. There was literally no point to this, was there? Yeah, no, it was just an optional thing of saying, here's how to fight men. And that was it. Yet again, I duck when I try and dash. Yeah, what a waste of time. Okay, I think you might have had a chance to listen to music and compare it to how Goldeneye 64 was different. Just kind of a thing to consider. It's going to get colder. Duh. 
Then we will get up. You hear? Now, I'll be honest, I like the way this room looks. I think this looks really cool. I like this little area back here. You hear, that? Oh. hear that? What the fuck? You're looking right at me. You're talking about hearing shit? That's another thing I think is funny is just that it does the sound cue as you're pelting them with bullets. Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're aware I'm here too. James, I'm in the lab, but I need you to create a diversion. Find a way to get the scientists out of the room. I can, you say. So why can't he do it? Traveling talks too much. <coughs> Open the door. Or do I go this way? Hey, I know I didn't matter. I'm fucking stuck here waiting on him. We're clear. Thank you. I'll the fuel tanks. Yeah, great. We'll do that. So, like, I'm not necessarily... Oh. Hello, frame rate. I'm not necessarily bothered too much by them dragging the levels out and actually making it feel worth more than Rare did. That doesn't bother me too much. But at the same time, there is a thing that's too long. And this game has it a little bit sometimes. Right now, it hasn't been bad. I've, I've enjoyed this level, and I've enjoyed the last one. That is the thing to consider, though, is just how fun the game is. So you gotta remember that. Yo. Set the charges. I'll keep us covered. How's it going, friend? It won't let me shoot at him. Yeah, now I gotta go place Minesweeper. Right. There's one. So here's that big room that was not so big in the 64 version. But, bluntly, there, it was pretty easy to fuck it up if you weren't careful in the 64 version. Did I make a noise? Apparently so. Hold on a sec, there's a lot of you. Aim at the fucking guy, that's the other thing that like... I don't even understand the point of having an auto-aim if it only works sometimes. Like right there, for instance, that's a glorious example of it. Okay, we're doing great. Ow. I don't exactly remember this guy being here, but whatever. So let's try this again. Let me... Take a look-see. <laughs> Fun for the whole family. Shooting guys in bedrock. 
because I want to create calamity. That was a pretty good, pretty good save there. I went from terrible to moderately terrible. If you hear something. No. Shit. Oh my god, the way they run away, and the way they show up. Alright, but come here for a minute. Wow. Stop that. Fucking the stupid grenade shit. And it's more irritable considering, like, they hit stuff you don't. Hello? Apparently I switched it to first, no, uh, single shot. You notice how it turns into an eye because golden eye? How cool, right guys? I mean, at least they got the blood screen, right? Alright, well that one's auto, so I... Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Just keep running around, play some mines. Whenever I can find one that needs one. Alright, so I'm looking, but that's up. And that's up. So I'm getting the idea that we need to go up. So go down. There's one. There's another. I thought I had one on there. That's weird. Okay, well. Yeah, no, I was just looking and getting confused because I thought there was some placed on ones that weren't placed. And that was why I was getting confused. Finished, Alec. Are you done? Alec, are you there? Alec? Alec? <laughs> Come out! Throw down your weapon, and I'll let you live. Don't do it, James. Don't listen to him. <clears throat> Shut up! Hold your fire, you'll kill all of us! You have ten seconds. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Finish the job, James! Blow him to hell! Four... Three... Two... <clears throat> Too late! You let your friend die! Now it's your turn! Alright, so praise and criticism. So for starters, by the time James realized something was wrong with Trevelyan, he was technically already dead. So he didn't actually get to see him shot. That was one flaw. However, I do like the touch, though, where he actually turns around and then shoots that other guy, because that's, that's straight from the film. The difference is it took a little bit longer than two seconds. So I can understand why that one went by. So I like that touch. It's just... They kind of made it seem like, oh no, James failed, but in reality, Trevlin was already dead, and James didn't give up at all. So there's that. But uh, that's that's all I feel like doing for right now, so I will see you guys later 
with more golden eye we when I tear apart it much further so so far not I mean I don't know you can just take what I've said as you choose bye bye <laughs>